in this question examiner is asking about sequence of general physical examination if you are being asked what is the general physical examination sequence here so answer will be a only first inspection then palpation then percussion at last auscultation but in this question examiner has asked about abdominal examination here you have to be careful because if you do palpation before auscultation is it can disturb the bowel sounds because of your deep palpation there can be more peristaltic movement inside right so it will disturb the bowel sound so here first of all inspection then auscultation then percussion at last palpation remember at last palpation and if a patient is complaining of pain over right hypochondrium my second question to you you are going to palpate that area in the beginning or at the last answer is at the last because if you are going to palpate in the beginning afterwards patient will not be supportive to you okay so let's learn some more points related to physical examination of abdomen on the inspection inspection means only observation we can see a stri photo a photo will be like this so this kind of condition you can see in a case of obesity ascites during pregnancy even even in a case of cushing syndrome even in a case of abdominal carcinomas now and a scar see a scar after looking at this scar you can easily understand that okay she is a female and a scar is here right so what kind of a scar what kind of incision was given yes this is called as fan and steel incision where do you give fan and steel incision yes in a case of c section cesarean section right and you can also appreciate discoloration around abdominal areas if you see bluish discoloration around umbilicus this is called as Tulin signs around the flank. This is called as the Gray Turner signs, which you can see in a case of hemorrhagic pancreatitis, even in a case of ruptured ectopic pregnancy. So, on the basis of inspection, we can diagnose so many things. Now, you can also see engorged veins, hematoma. You can also see around the umbilicus there can be the caput medusa, right? Okay, you can also see the peristaltic movement. If you can see the peristaltic movement, you can have some ideas about intestinal obstruction. In a case of newborn baby, especially male child, you can see what hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. So, on the basis of inspection only, we are going to have so many diagnoses. And now let's learn the palpation of different different organs. Here, see which organ is being palpated? It is liver. It is liver. So liver can be palpated with single hand also and both hand also. And now you look at this photo. Now you tell me which organ is being palpated here? Yes. Here, spleen. Spleen is being palpated, right? Spleen. And now you look at these two photos. Now you tell me which organ is being palpated here. Obviously, yes, by manual examination. Here, see examination of kidney. I hope all these points are clear to everyone. Now, on the basis of some of the specific signs in acute abdomen. See, when I talk about Murphy is a sign, patient is in supine position. Patient is in supine position. If I'm going to palpate here, if I'm going to palpate in ninth intercostal space and I'm asking the patient to take a deep breath, he will be like he will be breathing like this. And when I'm going to palpate with my fingers, when it is going to touch the inflamed epithelium of gallbladder. Now see here, so patient can have what? Huh. This is called as a respiratory arrest. This is Murphy's sign. Right, Murphy sign you can see in a case of acute cholecystitis. In the same manner, Robson sign. If you palpate over left iliac fossa, there will be pain over right iliac fossa. So this will be seen in acute appendicitis. Iliosoa sign. Right, this is also iliosoa sign. This is also we are going to see in a case of what appendicitis, but especially in the retroilial. Okay. Just now we have learned about Kulin sign and Gray Turner sign, especially in a case of hemorrhagic pancreatitis. I hope all these points are clear.